Management education can support sustainability in many different ways, but first of all, in my opinion, by educating responsible leaders. Responsible leadership is based on a key capability, that is uh, the ability to combine a strong commitment to results with a strong orientation to the future. Our society has thought that development was good in itself. Now we understand that development carries with it some negative externalities and it carries with it some risks. I think sustainable development is, has become a subject for global concern because I think the evidence is so compelling now. If we look at the stress on the environment, be it water, food, energy, we be it all the social unrest that's taking place in the world, the need for us to make the planet a much more sustainable place for everyone is really compelling. We are now living in an era which is systemically unsustainable. The economy is unsustainable, it doesn't grow anymore. Social sustainability is not there. There are too many problems. Last but not least, the environment is dying. We have to address all this triple, uh, let's say, unsustainability in a way which is uh, possibly simple. <laughs> that one solution for all. Sustainable development uh, is a subject of global concern because the numbers are showing that uh, we have very high unemployment rate, especially among uh, youth and women. Civil society can support global sustainability in different ways by engaging companies, universities, consumers and media. It needs to be understood that the different parts of sustainability are linked together. You cannot solve the environment problem without solving the jobs problem, without solving the social issues and the economic issues. So governments need to, to recognize this and then address each of these in their own ways, but linked to the other problems. And there, that's the way to do it. And then you can do it at the national level, you can do it at the city level, you can do it at the local level. So I think we have to think about a sustainable consumption and sustainable production from the ecosystems. Today the situation is like this, that if you continue like this, in year 2050, we have to look for five Earths. We're coming now from a supply-driven era to a demand-driven era. We need to listen to our customers and deliver the product, the safe product that they need. If we listen to them, it means that we're human-centered. The business itself starting to offer more sustainable solutions on the basis of modern technology which is applied. At the same time, customers increasingly demand sustainable products, sustainable services and companies who want to be successful and in order to be even more competitive in the future, they have to come up with even more sustainable services going forward in order to have a competitive advantage in the marketplace. Some of the possibilities that circular economy, economics and business models, decoupling growth, decoupling customer value from wasted resources and environmental impacts are a huge opportunity for innovation and also for new waves of growth for business. Sustainability is a must, but it's not enough. That's why we want to be sustainable, to launch big challenges to better the world. Our mantra is bettering the world. This is our innovability mantra, innovation with sustainability. In management education, according to my opinion, the most important thing is to integrate sustainability in every discipline and in every course. Management education is particularly important for sustainability because you can think of it like a soccer game. We need both better soccer players and we need better rules for the soccer game. Management education teaches people to play soccer better in the business world. And then because they know how to play soccer, they know what rules are the right rules for the game. And those two things are very important for sustainability.